Yeah, it is, and I think that's an indication of uh, the new structure, you know, the, the new everything, every every minute matters and all the all the potential of, of promotion and relegation. I think the, the quality of the signings that the Championship has been able to make, um, the threat of uh, relegation from Super League, but also the golden ticket of, of promotion, I think it really, really adds to the competition. And I just said in an, in an interview before, I honestly believe the Championship is going to be as every bit exciting, if not more, uh, than the Super League this year. And certainly after 23 rounds, when it goes into the Super 8s, um, you know, there's, there's a dream there for everybody to chase. Yeah, well, pressure's, pressure's good. You know, we were favourites last year and uh, we exceeded everybody's expectations by uh, uh, undefeated bar one game. Um, and for us to be able to emulate that again will be a, a, a mammoth task, but um, it's something we're going to strive to do again. Um, um, maybe not lose any, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, I think the level of uh, the championship's definitely gone up. Uh, the gap between the championship and Super League's definitely uh, got a lot closer in the last few years. Um, and as you said, there's there's some teams, a lot of teams full time and spending a lot of money. Uh, and there's other teams that, like ourselves, that we, we, we're staying within our budgets, but we've still got aspirations to to get up and win win against these uh, these full time sides. So uh, every game, every game's gonna gonna count. And, you can't, you can't afford to go away uh, an away game and not be on your toes and, and, and lose obviously no bonus points or anything like that so it, uh, it all means something. It's been a steep learning curve obviously um, sort of from when we got announced to when we started pre-season we only had maybe sort of six, seven, eight weeks so yeah, in that time obviously to get all the off-field stuff but for me personally having to recruit a team um, that I thought was going to be um, competitive and, and, and recruiting the, the right calibre of player with the right experience but also uh, making sure that we, we we remember our roots and remember why why we're even doing it to make sure that um, we're, we're keeping true to Coventry and keeping those the, giving those opportunities for the for the local guys. Um, so, but we think we've um, I think we put together a, a like a, a well balanced squad, um, good strong youth and, uh, and and exuberance that comes with that and and sort of a lot of athletic potential mixed with some older heads that um, that I think uh, we'll be able to guide around and steer around on the park. So. Um, but all in all, so far it's um, it's been it's been very very uh, enjoyable. But I guess this is the this is the easy part of the season. So. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they all you know all, all time I've been there. They've, they've been going on about you know the, the Ken Gowers and the, the team when they won the treble and stuff like that. Um, as a team now, we're hoping to bring it you know all that you know that great team back uh, to Swinton and have someone to shout about you know in the Swinton in the town centre and go around and talk about how good the rugby team is and you know get it back on the map. Well, very much looking forward to the start of the new campaign. I guess you're itching to get going. Yeah, I think everyone is. We've had a few friendlies now, like, and we just can't wait to, to get into competitive games, like, and take it out there. You know, in this uh, Challenge Cup and in the Championship, sort of like um, the cup games, and then into the season. So, but looking, everyone's looking forward to it. Can't wait to start playing, and hopefully this year we can move up back to the Championship where we should be, and hopefully it'll be a good year. It'll be a course that every game will be tight, every game will be good, you know, give what the fans what, what they wanted. I guess that's the aim then, move yeah. back to the championship. Yeah, get get back to the championship. Hopefully do the easy route, get to finish top and win the game. And so like battling it out in that second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth place. Certainly the signings of for us Richie Mathers, um Fui Fui Moi Moi for Lee, um, certainly uh, Rennie Matsua for Fev, just those three players, um, just suggest that wow, there's some really high profile players here, hence the competition's going to be of a fine standard. And it doesn't matter who you're playing, whether they're sitting in last spot or first spot, you know, wherever you play, you're going to have a game on your hands.